topic for today is the seventh step in taking control of your finances. Now, what I've done is I've actually covered different things like writing down your bills, writing down your debt, tracking your finances, all, all different all different steps here, right? So so the seventh step is actually something that you could, you could probably do into step one, but what I, the reason I'm pick, the reason I picked number seven is because by now, if you're following the steps, you've already tracked your finances for 30 days. You've already found out what your wants are. You found out what your needs are. You've, you've created a budget. It's a working budget. This is what I went over yesterday. So the, so the seventh step is every time that you get paid, what the, the habit that you want to develop for yourself is if you do this one thing, is pay yourself first. And where I'm getting that from is from the book called The Richest Man in Babylon. And if you haven't read that book, it's a fantastic book. That's I believe that's the first principle in that book. And it's more than just sticking money away for an emergency. It's actually a habit. If you can start to create the habit that every time you get paid, excellent book, absolutely. If you just start to create the habit, then eventually it's going to become so automatic that you're not even going to think twice about it. So, you know, I'm not sure how you get paid. Maybe you get paid every week, maybe every other week, maybe you get paid bi-weekly. Maybe you have your own company and you just, when you invoice and you get paid through customers, maybe you get paid that way. So this is what I would encourage you to do. If you don't do it already, is the next time you get paid, take a percentage of that net paycheck of the take home pay and stick it into a savings account, okay? And we've all heard the 10%, we've heard 5%, we've heard, you know, 10%, I think that's like the most probably well-known number that people tell to put it away. Because the first thing you want to do is start is start an emergency savings, but you want to keep putting that money away because that's gonna it's what that is is that's that's an insurance program for you. Because what is insurance? Insurance reduces your risk. That's what insurance does. So so what do you do with an emergency account? You create you put money into that emergency account so it reduces risk. We want to help you to reduce your risk financially. So if you need new tires this winter or if the furnace goes, or if you need, you know, go ahead and name it. I could name 200 things that could come up as an emergency. And you know what? When you start putting away money for an emergency, the emergencies stop happening. So this is what I would encourage you to do. If the last time you got paid or the last time before that you got paid, you didn't stick any money away, I would encourage you to take a percentage of that check and put it into a savings account. Now, if, you, if you're like, wow, I can't do 10%. I can't even live on what I'm doing right now. Do 1%, figure it out. If you make a $1,000 check, put 1% into there, into that account, and just start that as a habit. And then bump it up to 2%, bump it up to 3%. 1% changes in your net pay shouldn't make that big of a difference, but what happens after you do it um, paycheck after paycheck after paycheck, it starts to become a habit. Just like running, just like working out, just like you know, you know whatever it is. We all have habits in our life, and this is a habit that you want to create in your life because after 12 months of, st of, of paying yourself, you should know exactly how much money you have stuck away. So if, whether it's 1000 or 5000 or 10000 like how great is that going to feel to know that you have that money stuck, stuck away for an emergency, right? So if something happens, it doesn't become an emergency. There are so many people that I talk to on a daily basis that they just they, they live day to day, they're paycheck to paycheck, and you know, three months, six months, nine months, like nothing changes. They're still in the same spot they, that they were. So what you can do, you can you can change that today, right? Um, I think we're coming up on a new month here. So either you just got paid or you're about to get paid. Take take 1%, 5%, 10%. Take a certain percentage of that check and put it into a savings. And something that's even easier, if you can do 10%, you might even be able to set up an automatic transfer either from like like your company, you can do an automatic transfer or you can do it through your bank account where you can set up an automatic transfer every time you get paid a certain dollar amount. So it depends, it, it depends how you get paid. If your, check is, if your check fluctuates month to month, then what I would say is you might need to do it manually. But if your check every month is 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, you know exactly how much you're getting paid, then, then stick with that number and set it up. So by the time you get paid, the money is automatically in there, okay? So hopefully this helped. 
Um, this is this is a really really big step. The people that can do this step, your life can be completely different in 6, 12, 18, 24 months. It can completely be changed just by doing this one step, right? Because that's, that's more than I'm talking about budgeting here. We're just talking about just a simple step every time that you get paid. So hopefully this helped. If you found value in this, feel free to share. Swipe left, up, right, down, right, you know, whatever device that you're on. Feel free to share with your uh, family, friends, followers on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope. And if you haven't followed me on Periscope, uh, go ahead and follow me because I do these I do these videos every day, and most of them are uploaded on my YouTube channel. You can you can follow me on YouTube if you want, um, but you can plug into me live every day through Periscope, and I'm I'm obviously on Facebook as well. So if you haven't followed me, uh, click click follow, and uh, then you can get these right to your phone. And um, last thing, call to action. If you haven't yet, go to my website, nicknyber.com. There is the PDF, the free PDF for you. It's called Nine Steps in Taking Control of Your Finances. And this is something that you just type, you just put in your first name, your email, and then you'll get like an automatic email and you'll actually get sent that PDF. Print that out and it goes over these nine steps that I'm actually doing just real quick videos on. So hopefully you found value in this. I'd encourage you to go to my website, download that PDF. You can start taking control of your finances today because in 2017, 2018, your life can be completely different if you choose to. So have a great day. Thanks again for all the hearts, and I will see you all tomorrow.